Ten out from the line, shadow of the goalpost. They go again. Got to give that to Fruin, sure. Big Mark Ebert says, I'll have a crack. Wilson looks the other way. And Jed Robinson throws a good ball. Oh, how about the fans? Everything but from Billy Ropiha. Surely simple is West and boom, done. Exactly what that is, Scotty. The punctuation from Hawks Bay, superb. Doesn't look 100% in doing it though, Ehi West. And how about the influence of Billy Ropiha? Off the bench for Hawks Bay. Again, the improvement from the set piece. They went left, they came back right. The step, the fend. How about that? Goodness me. And then they do well. Again, the prop marshal. Gee, they've worked hard. The Hawks Bay front row. Dixon till he went off. Marshall on that occasion has kept it alive, Smithy. If you're talking to Joe Royal tonight, don't talk about that moment in the match, will you? He might not like it, but we summed that up pretty well. He knew he couldn't run across the line, so he had to dive from a distance, and he did just that. Tell you Oops. what, I'm glad I gave Joe Royal a hongi before the game, because <laughs> I'm not entirely sure his nose is going to be up to it after that. Well, Buckman is uh, having a crack, but Eho West not too good, so it looks like he will make his way off for Matt Burquist. Nothing wrong with Ehi West's day today, as Richard Buckman wills this one over it's no good higher west hopefully that's nothing too serious so Berkwist is on a 22 also brendan edmonds has had a hell of a day he's been so evident fantastic day and uh, for him jason long makes an entrance into the game Matt Berquist on 572 points for Matt Berquist. Of all the active players in ITM Cup, he scored the most points. Robbie Fruin chases the egg, but comes up with nothing. And again, Hawks Bay just straight over the top of this Bay of Plenty side, doing to Bay of Plenty in the second half what Bay of Plenty did to Harbour in their one victory this season. Leave your legs now. Wilson. Takes a couple back and makes the kick. And the bounce is favourable. McWigan thought he was a show there, so Dalti instead. Takes the contact. Bond is there. Comes around the corner. 72 and a half gone. First Silao. Throws a Hail Mary over the top. Mike Kyinger was there to collect. And finally taken into contact by Jesse Acton. Short ball for Bond, good carry. Halfway line is the Steamers. Look for more points, something out of this game. First C, Hoy! Oh, Siggy! Keep going! You want him to get there. Five out from the line. What a run from Siegfried for Zihoy. And the ball is there, and Hawks Bay think they have it up and turned over, and Kane McBride can't agree. And good on him for not. Siggy Fisahoy with the front row run of the season. Oh, how about this? Big old hole. It needed to be for him to go through untouched, but showed good pace. A little bit of deception. And then Buckman holds on for grim life. What's he got left in the tank for the scrum? <laughs> the hands not, on the hips. Not much. <laughs> no, just run the gauge to E. What a run. In about Show, three. Just put that yeah, in every exactly. highlights package of the year. That is fantastic. Siegfried Fissi Hoyt. Started the season strongly. To go away. Suffered a little bit with injuries. Come back today. He's looking sharp. Six. Good scrum from the Steamers. They'll look to drive. Now off the back they go. Charge! Try! They'll check it, but he's got it. Acton no doubt about man. that. Jesse Acton off the base of the scrum. Yep. Try. 
Yeah, terrific effort. They've had a good scrum all day, and that conversion's very quick, so I beat you to the punch on that, and it's a beauty. So Bay of Plenty giving up nothing here. Yeah, great work off the scrum. It's been a, one area of positive news for Bay of Plenty. It's been their work at the set piece. Super quick conversion, just the drop kick it was. 5.25, thank you. That's a fantastic job. Wow. Berquist gives his pack every chance of competing, and they may well get the line-out throw here. And in fact, they will. Less than five to go. Have they got two converted tries in them? Won't be enough. A draw no good to take the shield, so they'll need more. Beautiful ball to Fruin. Robbie Fruin off Billy Ropiha. And this time they're penalised. Holding on again is the call. Breakdown penalty is still a concern for coach Craig Philpott. They have plenty meanwhile. It's for Sihoy again. I knew he was coming. They double teamed him. On the 16. Tap and go. Kamami Sitalti. Five out from the 22. For Silao. Happy just to spurn it up. There again. Evmi, Ritalik to the line, good hands, forward pass. <laughs> Richard Buckman named by well, the Magpies, their player of the day today. There'll be a few candidates, though. But he has been good at the back. Kid number 10 was pretty good, too. Berkwist now feeds the ball up from Stanley, standing in midfield. Here is Buckman. Freshly minted by the Thirsty Whale. I'm assuming that's an establishment. Serving food and beverage. Oh, oh, I'm glad he pulled out of that. As I was just about to catch the head that would have come off had he gone through with it. And again, it's tip tackle time. Bruce Docker is about to have some fun on the sideline monitor. Now a hip toss. It's all go here. And JC Marshall's taken exception. Shirts are all. Oh, it's old fashioned. It's an old fashioned. Meanwhile, Shannon Chase from Ortani is standing in back play wondering what's going on. Well, the first thing, though, good news for Bay of Plenty is they're travelling north after this game. If they had to tra travel south, they'd have to go past Ortani. Yeah, they're right. probably waiting they for him. That's right. Just about <laughs> took off the head of their mare. Bruce is there. Bruce, just going to check the tip tackle. I'm thinking yellow. I want you to advise whether or not it's worse. I also yeah, want you to tackle. tell me whether or not it's high. number four, the captain. Gee, if it's metallic. How does that happen? Two yellows equal at red. Might be the last game he captains if it is. Here's the play. Jason Long, the player. And you better believe it's Tino Namani. He's the man who lifted the legs. And in fairness, Vitalik was already connected. He couldn't go anywhere. Here's Long. Scored a try last week. And Namani goes for the legs. Meanwhile... Yeah, that's right. This is... Vitalik's involved in the tackle, but it's definitely Namani who's lifted the legs. 
Bruce and flipped them over. Side who has actually lifted him here. Yeah, I don't think there's any intent there from Metallic to drive the body. The body was going the other way. Smithy, yours? I've, I've decided on a colour. Agree mate. totally. He was committed though here. to the tackle. It's definite movement to lift the leg above the horizontal, and that's the problem. And he never really made an effort to pull out of it. That's the ugly side of it. He carried on with it. So, uh, so that, that's Smithy. That's the question yeah, that's been yeah. asked. Is give me a number. All right. Yes. 14, it's lifted. Now, so you believe 14 has done the lifting? Right, I'm thinking red card. Do you agree with that? You do? Thank you. 14. It's a lifting tackle. Both of you are in there. We believe you did the lifting. One, it has come down in a dangerous tackle. position. It is a red cut. Had to happen sometime, and that's the first. The first red card of the ITM Cup 2014 goes to Maratino Namani. <laughs> Great shot. Oh, it is, because he's been one of their best players. He's been one of their best players all season. He had most of the punch to the back line, but unfortunately, he's got it horribly wrong there, and I think that's a fair call. Well, in all of that, they've completely forgot about the first advantage, which was the head high tackle. Well, Shannon Chase's head's now facing the other way. But we've forgotten that. Hip toss, all in brawl. Tell you what, the Battle of the Bridge coming up tonight at 5.30 as well. Look forward to that. 30 seconds of unmitigated violence on the field of McLean Park. Sorry, Bruce, Gives sorry. way to a crooked line out. We're on again here. We're on again here. But plenty have adopted the attitude. We can't win the game. We're going to try and win a fight. Ridiculous. The game's gone. Takes two to tango, Richard. Yeah, but there's only one team winning. Tom two Parsons. Teams fighting. Tom Parsons there, number 18. Oh, he hasn't got a bad bone in his body. He's a hero <laughs> worth boy. <laughs> What's the school motto there, Smithy? <laughs> Don't take a backward step. <laughs> Throw the first punch and run. <laughs> Listen, it's down. Bye. Well, all of this is, of course, is masking the fact that it's been a lovely afternoon at McLean Park and we've seen some pretty decent football. And that the Ranfilly Shield stays for another week, which means Wellington will get a crack on a Wednesday night in October. Bob Bavar trying to get on the outside, does so. The ball bounced up for McGuigan. Less than 90 seconds left in the Shield Challenge. They have plenty. Yeah, the 10th anniversary of the last Shield victory will go away empty-handed again. Kyinga, still full of beans, Mike Kyinga. Here it is. Hawks Bay will fancy the turnover, they'll get it. Ellery Wilson, hands on the ball. Final minute of the game, we'll have a scrum and that will just about do it. By the time we get this together, that'll be full time. Hawks Bay have survived the challenge. There's the old guard look on. So it doesn't look like the way they're lining up, the way the calls are going, that they've got any intention of just booting it out here, Hawks Bay. Six. Well, bonus point try on the line. And that's what they set up for. Ellery Wilson finds Bergquist. Bergquist to the line. Second man play for Ryan Tongia of the right. Ovation too, rightly so. What a way to finish Hawks Bay. Tongia. It was a simple set piece move from Hawks Bay. Players in motion. 
And Tongi had just got the ball in space and literally outran the defence. Yeah, Billy Rofiha ran the decoy and uh, Tongi went behind him. He didn't take any tacklers out, so it was perfectly legal. Just created the half gap for this bloke who is having some season. Great finish, great bonus point, and in perhaps a little blowout. A little blowout when you pick up the papers tomorrow morning. It hasn't been that comfortable, the bay. This bay, of course, which gets the naming rights now, Sumo. Oh, that's they great, get them back. It, it's massive. I'll tell you what else they, they get. They go top of the table. Hawks Bay take the outright lead in the championship. Matt Berquist from the sideline. And his kick will drift, but only just. Hawks Bay defend the shield for the second time this season. Ryan Tongia leads the try scoring table outright with eight. And Hawks Bay now top of the table. Bay of Plenty left to search their souls again on the long bus ride back down the Napier Topor Highway.